What's going on, people? Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Fans. Now, it is transfer talk season, and we all know we need a striker. So the kind of main link that I'm seeing right now in the papers in the media is with Gabriel Jesus. So I'll be asking the fans around the stadium and back at the studio, what are your thoughts of Gabriel Jesus potentially signing here at Arsenal Football Club? Let's see what they have to say. All right, Jordan, it's the transfer window is open. It's just the talk now of what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you about Gabriel Jesus. Mm -hmm. Would he fit in at Arsenal for you? Would he fit in? Yes. There's a, there's a massive spot going through the middle at the moment that needs, that needs filling. Mm -hmm. So I think he fits in as a number nine. Why? We know that he can do a, a good job playing wide as well. Mm -hmm. Arteta likes attackers that are versatile. I personally would prefer specialists. So if you're going to get a wide man, get a wide man. If you're going to get a forward, get a forward. But I get how the game's going. They're, they're interchangeable. But yeah, I think it'd be a good forward. I think it's probably the the best of the forwards I think we can probably get. Wow, okay. I don't think we're shopping in that top tier bracket of yeah. being in the convo for the likes of Haaland and et cetera. I think we're in the tier below. Mm -hmm. I think he's Premier League proven. And I think what's a new challenge. So I think if we were to sign him, I would be... He's not, he's not the killer that I would like. I would like to have a guy that I know supply him and there's 20 goals there minimum. Right. I, I, I think he probably will, but I'm not convinced he's that guy. But I think of what we can get, I think it's probably the best one we can get. I would, I would. And I think that we're in the right place to get him right now. Right. Obviously with the shifts up at Man City and everything yeah. and with uh, uh, Holland coming in, I think there's a gap that uh, Jesus could fill with us. Yeah. And I would be absolutely, as long as it's not too much. I feel like sometimes at Arsenal, we like to uh, spend out for like the big ballers, the big stars, but then where's the depth, right? Where's mm. the depth? Where's the where's the teamwork? Yeah. Where's the spirit? So as long as he fits in with the club mentality and wants to actually be part of the family, I'm all for it. I'll be very happy. Yeah. But the thing is, man, his goal scoring record's not that great. Mm. See what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, is he, the thing is, I've always learned over the years that when we're connected with a player week in, week out, like he Gwain, remember that one? Yeah, that we one. We end, up, all of them. we end up not buying them. Yep. So at the moment, I'll say yes, but I'm not getting I'm not getting carried away. Mate. Yeah, so you're not confident that that will happen right now? No, not at the moment. Oh. Just the transfer market, any something can go like that. So. Uh, world star forward, uh, internationally known, plays for the national team in Brazil. Uh, has that Man City connection with Arteta previously. Yeah. Uh, He's a pressing striker, a uh, striker who presses, seems the right fit for what Arteta wants. Mm -hmm. And we need firepower. Okay, we, we, would, would that be enough for you as a fan? Like if he was the main signer for the striker position or do, would you want more than that? I think at the, I think right now, since we just signed Nketiah, I think having Nketiah, him being a homegrown striker, kind of kicking on at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. And then Gabi Jesus coming in, providing that kind of uh, the competition. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think I would. I think we'd have to be happy with that, man. Do you know what? At the back end of the season, when I thought we was getting Champions League, I was moving a bit spoiled. Like, ah, Jesus, I'll take him, but yeah, maybe yeah. we can get a Nunes or sort of... Right now in Europa League, give me Jesus, bro. I'll take yeah. that all day long. I think the thing for me, I always felt like we needed two strikers. Yeah. I thought, get Jesus, then maybe get someone a bit bigger. Agreed. Bit of a target, man. It looks to me as if we're only going to buy one striker. Mm. That's my worry, but... Jesus, I would take him. He knows the Prem. He's worked with Arteta, worked with Edu. Mm -hmm. Knows Gabriel, knows Martinelli. Um, he's Premier League proven to a degree. Yeah. I still think there's a level we can go higher. You know, He's never scored 20 goals, never been the starter at City. So it'd be interesting if he comes to us, can he get 20 goals if he starts every week? Do you but, believe he could be being the main, if he was the main man? Because that's what, what the selling point to come mm -hmm. to Arsenal is, is you'll be the main you know, striker here. Do you believe he could get that, that goal scoring? Because I haven't really seen that in him he can score goals but that, that 20th season or 15 plus I'm not sure I'm not okay. sure because at City they create hatfuls don't they That's we don't true. so is he going to get as many chances I think if he comes to Arsenal he needs to take the penalties you know what I mean do everything, everything. you can to get goals <laughs> man you know what I mean so but I, I do think he'll come to us I think that appeal of starting every week will yeah. probably get him I think he's a great player. He's a great goal scorer. And that's just kind of what we need. Yep. He's not the big target man that we had in like Giroud that we sort of thought we wanted with Martinelli, Saka, Odegaard. Yep. But he's going to score goals. He's going to cause chaos in the box. And ultimately, he's going to finish. Yeah, okay. Is, is he enough though? If, 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 if Gavre Jesus was just the only sign that Arsenal made up front, would you be happy with that? 
Well, I think it depends on what Balogun does. Okay, yeah. Because if nice. he if he comes in and if he comes back, if we give him half a year in the championship, if he comes back and he can give us five, six goals a season off the bench, maybe yeah. that's what we need then. Would you keep? Would you keep him not not send him back on loan for next season? Or would you bring him into the first team fold? I think because we have Europa League, if we go deep in the cups, I think we could do both. I think we could bring hold on to Enkedia Balogun and then bring in Jesus. But I don't think other than that, we should have any more options. So that's it. You've heard from the fans around their thoughts on Gabriel Jesus. Now I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Is Gabriel Jesus enough for next season? Would you be happy with him being the main striker at Arsenal next season? Will he have the impact like the man above me? Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.